in this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. You know why? You should already know by now. Say it with me, because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. This is going to be a sad episode, isn't it? This is... I mean, I just cried for fucking Nanami in Jujutsu Kaisen. This better not be a fucking sad episode. Give me like a triumphant episode where everyone wins. Come on. Ooh, mommy! Did I say grandmommy? How old is she? You guys call her golden. Apparently, the old hag that was referred to by Frost Nova, it was the other dude. You know, uh, uh, Frost Nova's like dad, patri uh, patriot or something, not Kaustit. So you guys baited me again. Man, our yetis, man. Fuck. That guy with the scar on the slip. That yeti member, goaded. Seizing its intervention. That's interesting. Just pull out of this mission? Hmm. I don't know. Part of me just wants to say, fuck Longman. Fuck the LGD. Well, not really. Fuck the Shadow Police. Fuck Lin or Yin or whatever her name is, you know? And like, the council of people that showed up out of nowhere yesterday. He's wearing a mask, how could you tell? What? What? What is their past? What the fuck is between these two? That is a lot of backstory that I need to know. There's probably so much lore between these two in the past, huh? Did the game even explain this shit? No, stop! This is already fucking dead flags. Stop! Stop! Death flags, death flags tripping everywhere. I want Frost Nova to just join, you know? Just fucking join Rhodes Island. Fuck all this LG, fuck all these LGD, you know, reunion bullshit. Come join Rhodes Island. Wow, actual English. No English here. Fantastic, superb English. Yes. We go in there, knock her out, bring her onto the ship. Let's go. Oh, Doctor going in. Damn. That's a that's a very used line in anime. I'll see this to the end. It's always so epic whenever someone says it. Okay, great throat. Okay, we got Amiya, we got Doctor, and we got Blaze. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, get out of my way. You know, we don't have to fight. Repulsive dissociation. You mean these floating things around her? This is like the next form of the disease? It's kind of cool though, you know, how it's like floating around her. Blaze is correct. Just come with us. Bro, all this fighting is gonna do is buy time for someone fucking else to show up and just ruin this entire thing. We should just get the fuck out right now. Oh shit, we got the snipers ready too. Great throat. She knew. There's always chainsaw noises whenever Blaze attacks. It's really cool. I mean, she straight up just uses one, you know? Oh my gosh, she looks so fucked already. Please stop. Haven't heard this in a while, huh? Whenever she starts singing, it just starts to get hype. Let's go. Ooh. <laughs> Cue the orchestra too. Look at this, the dissociation, the effects around her. It looks so cool. Damn. Anime eyes like that when it's glowing. It's always so cool. So cold, I'm blacking out. Insane. Huh? She split her power. So this is her true power. Oh my god, that first encounter in the earlier episodes. She was nerfed. Right, because Amiya can like relate to emotions of different people too. What if I told you you could have a new team with us? Yo, imagine Amiya accidentally killed Frost Nova. Just like how we killed Misha in season one finale. Oh my god. And she has so many rings too. I want to see Amiya get released. Oh. Can't even release them. 
Wait, she has rings on her fucking ankles too. Did you see that? What if all of them break? What if all of them break right now? These two, they're like homies now, even though we had, they were like, they were, they were having a lot of friction before. We did have a little bit of, you know, like understanding. Okay, just don't lose control and accidentally kill Frost Nova like Misha. You're like that man who... Patriot? Oh, Ace! Oh, yes! Frost Nova acknowledging Ace! So lewd. So he saved everybody first, and then he lived the Tala confrontation. Then he saved the fallen comrade again after that. The ace is actually goaded. Man, just stop this fighting. Let's just go home. She might end up just killing herself at this rate if she uses too much arts. Palula? Who? 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 I think it's Talula, right? Because she can just feel and just understand everything about an enemy's like emotions. Dokta said, I will see this to the end. He just behind a pillow, not even watching this. Main character speech. That's right, talk your shit, Amiya! I'll become whatever I need to. That's a dangerous ideology, though. I think Frost Nova acknowledges Amiya though, huh? No, I feel like after this attack, you'll either kill yourself or someone else will come in for a kill steal, dude. Please, just one happy fucking ending. Just one happy ending. God damn. More singing? Is this like her ultimate attack? Dokta, do something on your fucking phone! They don't even reach her anymore. Damn. She's even freezing. Wouldn't it be nice if we had some kind of fire arts user here, like Talala? Blaze's attack doesn't even reach? Holy. Who, who's gonna save us here? Nah, I think she just end up gonna dying, dude. Did you hear her voice crack at the end there? Cause she's like almost dying. She can't even sing anymore. What is that? What was that? Did I forget something? A fake? From Patriot. Did he give something to her? I forgot something. Okay, we survived it. But if she dies here, that's fucking pointless. Bitch, you said you'd get on the fucking ship. You made a promise. Give her a spice of candy and drag her to the ship. So, so it's gonna be happy ending? Happy ending? No pain nights this finale? Really? I'm a little skeptical about this. I don't know. And that's why Tala, you know, confronted Ami about her ideology in season one, right? That's exactly why, because she kind of feels like it's personal. It's like you are me before reality really sank in. Sunken. I wonder if W also feels the same way about this. Reunion doesn't need Tala. The real? What do you mean the real Talala? A kiss. No, this is not a kiss scene. Is it okay? Does she just want to feel the warmth of an actual person's hand? Because she can't make direct contact where people freeze to death, right? You're not dying though, right? You can still make the decision to live on with us, right? Yes, because you're joining Rhodes Island. You can call us Dokta. Okay? Okay? Happy ending? Why does it feel like she's still gonna die though? Why don't you tell Amiya that? Okay, okay. 
Great! Great, yeah, you can tell her that yourself! You're fucking baiting me. You're fucking trolling me right now. You're fucking trolling me. No. She did not just die. She did not just die after saying all that. Bro, fuck! She joined Rhodes Island for like three seconds! Did we even have to fight in the beginning there? This show, man. Fuck this show. I'm not saying fuck Arknights, but it's just like, oh, it can be just like one happy, and just just something, right? Like, what the fuck? What's going on here? What's Swire trying to prevent Chen from looking at? It's these fuckers again. Meeting with Amiya though. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, these people are so disgusting. Imagine if they themselves were also infected too, but they were acting like they were like higher than us. Oh. oh. <laughs> she took a little offense to that. Yo, little rabbit talking some shit, throwing some shade. Okay, what's going down here with Chen? This motherfucker has done nothing but smoke his fucking pipe and do nothing throughout the entire season. Even in season one too. What the fuck is mutually beneficial about this? All you do is smoke your pipe here. Straight up. Yep. Fuck you, way. Chen doesn't know either, right? Okay. Are we human though? You guys all have bunny rabbits. You got, you got like cat ears and stuff. What, what's that about? What? No, Ami is more idealistic than that. Wouldn't it be hilarious if Wei got infected and suddenly... Everyone else turned on him too. Or even those people of the council. Pretty much. You know what? Fuck it. I want Talala to burn the city to the ground. After we escape all the orphans and good people. Oh. One of our people. That's right. She was Rhodes Island. For like three seconds. Wait. The credits. I thought the episode was. Wait, wait, wait. What's going on right now? I thought the episode was done because the credits started. Like the ending was playing and the credits was rolling, but. Of course, Wei ordered it all. Wei doesn't give a fuck. He just does what's most calculating, the most objective thing. That night. Wei was involved? Hmm. They were involved in getting rid of Talula? Tell us the truth then. You off Talula? So they killed Talula's parents. Oh shit, doctor's here too? Oh, so many you pay. Okay, no, 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 this person's already wayside. <laughs> Let me calm down. Huh? Great. Fuck it. I don't give a shit, dude. Escape all the infected people here. Fuck all the or fuck up, fuck every one of these people. Huh? What? Wait, 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 wait. Clemmy. I'm on their side, dude. Fuck, fuck Longman. Fuck Wei, especially. God damn. I'm just starting to realize these first two seasons were set up. Because, like, in season one, I thought that Longman was going to fall within the span of the eight episodes. Nah, we were just setting it up, introducing. Season two, we get to learn more about Longman's in the politics and the shadow police and all this different shit. Even more about Taula being here. Her parents are killed by, like, Wei's people. And now, season three, when it arrives, oh, shit, the actual siege on Longman? That's just going to be hype. And again, Longman's innocent people shouldn't die. But goddamn... Can't, like, Wei can go fuck himself. Everybody here that's acting like they're better than everyone because they're not infected, they can go fuck themselves. The perfect revenge would, would be for them to get infected and then for their own side to turn on them to see what it feels like. God damn, they deserve it more. Frost Nova, she did join Rhodes Island. One of our people died, but God, like, why the fuck do we have to fight there? Do we really have to fight there? It would have been so nice for her to join and then somehow she would have been on her side fighting against Talala. It is what it is. Now, I don't know when season three is going to come around, but maybe it'll be another year. And thank you, as always, Ark Knights community. Like, my own YouTube community isn't watching this series. Only, like, this non subscribing like, Ark Knights community is. I thank you so much. We do watch a lot of different anime around here. And if you enjoyed these reactions, I hope to see you around. But until next time, take care.